Alright guys, today I've got a fun little video here. This is going to be on my LG G-Pad 8.3 inch device. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to get root access on this device. So first things first is uh, I'm going to show you what we need to do and show you some prerequisites and settings. So just so you understand where this device is at right here, I'll show it to you. So if we go to software, you can see that it's running Android 4.2.2 and it's on bill number 39B so and you can see your software version and all that good stuff so that's what I'm running right here like I said this is this is the uh, LG G uh, G pad 8.3 inch device nice little tablet and we're gonna get root access on it so to do this we're gonna go ahead and um, go to our build number right here and we're gonna tap on it a bunch of times and once you tap on about 10 times, you're going to turn on developer options down here on the side. And which is really cool. So we'll say don't show me this again, a little warning. And then we want to turn on USB debugging. So make sure it's checked up here, it's turned on. And then make sure USB debugging is turned on right here. Say yes. And you can back out of the screen. And now your device should be set up to go ahead and get root access on it. Let's shoot to my computer and we're going to run some stuff on my computer. Okay, so the next step in this process, guys, is going to be to come over here and you're going to download a couple files. So you're going to download uh, this file right here, and which is the drivers, and you're going to download this file right here. So you have a zip, which is root G pad, and you have these drivers. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and click on the drivers and do an install of the drivers. This will get everything functioning so that you can get your device working correctly and go ahead and hit run. I'm not going to do this. I've already installed them. It's very simple. You just walk through it, let the drivers install. Once the drivers have installed, first thing you want to do is come over here to your device, unlock it, grab your USB cable, plug it into your computer, and plug it into your device. All right, just like that. And you should be able to put it in, well, it says charge tablet right now. I think we want this in, let's see here. You know, I don't actually know what they want to put this in. I'm going to guess it's going to be the MPT. So we're going to put it in that mode. And go ahead and let the drivers install for it. Yeah, that's the mode we wanted in because you can see up here it has this uh, debugging symbol on it. So if you pull this down, it says USB debugging connected. That's what you want. So we're going to leave it in that mode. I think that's a good mode for it. And, and then you've got this file right here you're just going to extract when you extract it it looks like this like a fo folder open it up and then it's very simple just run the uh, root bat and it just tells you again how to put this thing in USB debugging mode and getting your drivers installed once you've done that just push any key to continue so I'm going to hit spacebar looking for a device pushing a file so it says now please unplug USB and go to developer options and disable USB debugging and re-enable it. Once you've done that, reconnect the device. So we're going to go ahead and unplug it and come in here, go back to settings, right there, turn off USB debugging here. It says just USB debugging, right? Yeah, USB debugging. And then we'll re-enable it. Say yes. And then go ahead and plug it back in. All right, there you go. And PC programming. Uh, it didn't say anything about this. Just check. I think we're just going to leave it and see what happens. So I'll push uh, space bar again. Um... Install Super Su. Uh, this means blah blah blah. Be rooted, and just put, talks about this. So, void your warranty, and press any key to continue. It's just a warning, basically. So, push any key to continue. Looks like it's uh, pushing over the files it needs. 
go ahead and turn the screen back on. You want to accept this. There you go. And should be done. It says press any key to continue. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and check and see if we have Super Suit in our app drawer. So it should be here. Let's go ahead and uh, look. There you go. Super user right there. And that should be it. You should have a root access on your device. Uh, I'm going to download an application really quick and just uh, check that just to make sure it is functioning correctly. So let's give this thing a check over. All right, so I just went ahead and installed Root Checker on this device just to prove that we have root access. And I'm going to open it up. Just get it from the Play Store. It's really simple. Agree to the disclaimer. Hit OK. And then verify root access. There you go. You got the pop-up. That's what's important. Uh, and allow. And then congratulations. The device has root access. So there you go. Very, very simple. Um, this actually, I would think normally I, I install SuperSue, but this is actually just installed SuperUser, which is fine. Either, uh, either works. And then right there I did that root checker application just to prove that I have root access on the device, which I do. So very, very excited about that. Um, definitely cool. Very simple. Run this little bat file. Boom, you're done. Little root dot bat very easy to do a couple quick steps and uh, install some drivers cake absolute cake on this device to get root access so uh, uh keep watching guys because i'm going to be doing videos on this thing some more i'm sure i'll be doing custom recovery and rom installs and all that kind of good stuff so uh keep watching and i will catch you in the next one root junkie out